you cheat. People like you spoil our school's reputation. Get out of the classroom right now. Mr. Condes Masters, fellow Toastmasters and most welcome guests, have you ever been punished for doing something wrong? If you haven't, you probably work on Wall Street, aren't you? But have you ever been punished for doing something right? If you have, then you know how I felt when I was a 9th grade student and stood accused of cheating. In the Indian education system, every year, all schools conduct a three-hour exam for each course. These are the most important exams and the strictest too. You are permitted to take only a pen with you in the exam. Scoring highest marks could bring you fame. Failure can bring you shame. But being caught cheating in exams will lead to immediate expulsion from the school. That year, I had worked very hard to prepare for the exams and I practiced on sheets of paper day and night. That morning, it was the exam of social science and confidently, I marched into the exam room. When I looked at the question paper, <laughs> easy. After about an hour, the discipline committee teacher showed up in the class. He was a tall, bald, and strong man with a long mustache pointing to the floor. I always thought of him as a distant cousin of Hulk Hogan. He announced, I'm here to inspect 11th and 12th grade boys. Remember, I was in 9th grade, so his inspection would not include me. He barked at the 12th and 11th grade students, when I come to you, Pull your pockets inside out and they should better be empty. As he would move towards a senior student, a terrified senior student would stand up and pull out his pockets. While he started inspecting to mock my seniors, I slipped my hand in pocket and instantly I discovered my pocket was not empty. Is that my hanky? Why does it feel like a paper? I quickly glanced at it. It was one of my practice sheets. I had forgotten to discard it before entering the exam room. My mind raised, what should I do now? What if he changes his mind and starts inspecting ninth graders too? Should I slide the sheet slowly into my sock? Should I try swallowing it? Could I ask for a restroom break? And believe me, I really needed one at that moment. It was a careless mistake and nothing more. Yet, I knew I could be expelled from the school as a result. But only if I was caught. In that moment, I went deaf on outside, while my father's words echoed from inside. When you don't know what to do, do what is right. You might have to pay a price, but what you will get in return will be priceless. So, I stood up nervously and approached to the discipline committee teacher. He did not ask me. But I just realized I made a mistake. I handed my practice sheet to him, hoping he would understand and appreciate my honesty. You cheat! People like you spoil our school's reputation. Get out of the classroom right now! In shame, I walked out of the classroom. An hour later, while I was still standing outside of the classroom, who did I see entering the principal's office? Dad! Started, I started thinking, man, Dad's gonna whoop my butt in front of whole school. 
Where will I go to school next year? Will I be in 9th grade or 10th grade? After what seemed like an eternity, Dad came out and took me to his car. While sitting in the parked car, he simply asked, What happened? Dad, I was not cheating. Last night when I was practicing, I put some notes in my pockets to study again this morning and I forgot to take them out before the exam. It was an unintentional mistake and I myself handed the sheet over. I tried explaining to Mr. Hogan but he wouldn't believe me. He listened to my every word and then he said, I believe you. I knew you would not cheat and that's why I fought for you in the principal's room. Now they will not expel you and your exam would be graded on just what you wrote. I am proud of you Pulkit. You made a mistake but did the right thing. I am proud of you. It would have been easy while in the exam room to pretend I had not, I had done nothing wrong hoping my mistake would not be discovered. But at what cost? How much is self-respect worth? Can you put a price on your conscience? Have you been in a similar situation? Perhaps you made the difficult but morally correct choice. I paid by being tagged as a cheater. But when my dad said, I knew you would not cheat. That's why I fought for you. He gave me the treasure of his, of his trust and it felt larger than love. It was priceless. Few days later, the results were out and I barely passed the social science exam. Fellow Toastmasters, when you don't know what to do, do what is right. You might have to pay a price, but what you get in return will be priceless. Fellow Toastmasters,